Hey guys, Brent Old Build Show talking today about life cycle costs. And if you're doing high-end work, this is a conversation you have to understand, you have to be clear about it so that you can help your clients work through, think about high-end products. Come join me today in the Build Show. Life cycle costs, right? Have you heard that term? Are you familiar with it? If you work on the high end, you should know it, okay? We first learned about it, I first learned about it working on commercial projects and commercial restoration projects. And basically, I was in some conversations with architects, contractors, suppliers, and we were all talking about the windows. We we're talking about the Ludovici roof is a good one to talk about first because they're expensive, right? And so let's just say you've got a Ludovici tile or you have a slate tile roof is $2,000 a square, okay? And let's just say we have 100 squares on our roof, okay? That equals $200,000, okay, 200K. Let's compare it to asphalt, okay? Asphalt roof costs 400 a square. If you got 100 squares in your roof is $40,000, okay? 40K. You look at the cost and you go, well, gosh, you know, it's it's five times as much. This is crazy. Why would we why would we even do that? Think about it if we have a concrete tile roof, something that is in between these two. You're trying to save money from doing that, the Ludoichi tile. And so you do a concrete tile and you can do it for a thousand dollars a square, right? 800 a square, something like that. And if we do the same thing with 100, now we've got a roof. We've saved, we've saved our client $100,000. We've, we've done half the cost. However, what happens is in these conversations is the institution will say, well, yeah, that's fine, but how long is it going to be there? And you go, well, uh, good question. So you look at this $200,000 number and you go, that's a 100-year roof. So in 100 years, right, if we divide this by 100, we end up with $2,000 a year. That was easy math because we've already done it, right? So is this gonna last under your, how long is the concrete tile roof gonna last? 30 years, you know, maybe 40 years if it lasts a long time. So, and, and, and that's it failing because it'll start to fade within five or 10 years, right? It's not gonna look as good. So now all of a sudden we do divide this by, you know, 30 years. So now this roof, okay, instead of costing $100,000, because we're gonna to have to replace it three times, is now $300,000, okay? And now my life cycle cost over 100 years is $3,000 for this roof. So all of a sudden, understanding the life cycle of each product all of a sudden changes the math. And even though in the initial budget that you hand over, say, yeah, we saved you $100,000 by going with a concrete roof tile instead of the Ludoichi, actually over that 100 year life cycle of that product it's actually going to cost you you know 50 percent more it's not always this conversation of you know what's the cheapest but when you can take in this life cycle thing all of a sudden it changes the math and these are conversations i want you to start having with these guys let's go to the asphalt roof so it's forty thousand dollars how long how long is it how many times are you gonna to have to replace that in 100 years uh, maybe it's a 20 year, maybe it's a 25 year. So we're going to have to multiply it by, you know, four would be generous. So now all of a sudden this roof is actually costing $160,000. So it's still less than the $200,000 that you're, that you're paying for the Ludoichi, but it's getting close enough to that number that you start going, hmm, well, if, if we really want this thing to last a long time, not even considering the architectural joy and beauty that this product is going to bring, I think I get pushback from some of the guys saying, oh, you guys, you know, spend stupid money on your projects and no one can afford that. But if you want to start building at this level, you need to start having conversations with your clients like this. Realize that your clients, if you're building million dollar houses for your clients, they most likely have a net worth of 10, 20, 30 million dollars, right? And so they're used to having these kind of conversations with the businesses and the things they're running. So you're not gonna scare them to have this conversation. In fact, if you lead with these kind of conversations, you're gonna show your expertise and your competency to be able to build at this level. So the life cycle costs uh, of this thing make a ton of sense when you're having these conversations. And usually what I'm talking with my clients about is like, look, the best looking, the most beautiful thing, the most long lasting, the thing with the best historic precedent is this Ludoichi tile. But we can consider these other things, but look, this is only gonna last this long, it's gonna start fading, and it's a conversation we have, life cycle costs. 
Let's do the same thing with windows, right? So our 100 year window, year window, let's just say it's 4,000 a window. We've got 30 of them in a house and we've got $120,000 for this house, okay? A production window is, you know, $2,000, okay? 30 windows, you've got $60,000, okay? Now, our window lasts 100 years. The production window, Marvin, Pella, Colby, all those different ones, they are lasting on our jobs. We had the, the one job I did the video about the casements that lasted 17 years, okay? So let's give it 20, let's give it 25 years, okay? And so in that 100 year time cycle, I'm actually replacing these windows uh, three to four times. So now this thing is 180 to $240,000 when you consider the life cycle cost of a production window versus a 100 year window. So now all of a sudden you're like, well, yeah, it's twice as expensive up front, okay? But if your client, if it's a forever home or it's an important home or a house that they plan to live in and pass on to their family members, then you have to have that life cycle cost because they're gonna be mad at you in 15 or 20 years when those windows are rotting out. They're like, why would we, why would we put such a cheap product in our house? Why would we spend money like that? They don't wanna spend money. They want things that last for a very long time. So I didn't even calculate vinyl windows in here because maybe they're 500, you know, and then, so it's $15,000. Well, it's such a cheap number that we don't even really consider it because that's product that is gonna last very long and it's certainly not beautiful. So understanding guys that this doesn't necessarily work on a starter level house. It doesn't work on a starter level house. It doesn't even work on maybe even a mid-level house. But when you start building houses that are two, three, four, five million dollars, where they are thinking about this is something that should last for a long time, they really want to you know, introduce and put quality in their houses, this is the kind of conversation you should be having. And look, it can go to everything that you build in the house from veneered stone versus real stone, from cut stone versus cast stone, from all of these different products that are available for our houses today. When we begin to have a life cycle cost, and pairing it with architectural beauty, pairing it with historic precedent, you begin to have different conversations about products instead of just cost. And really, my goal for you guys as you work to become master builders is not to be looking at everything about cost. It should be about beauty, it should be about value, and it's really a big deal if you wanna raise your game. So we've got this podcast called Passion for Craft. It's Richard, Finished Carpentry TV, and my son. Uh, we're really sharing and raising everybody's game as far as you know, having conversations that we as master builders need to be having. There's tons of extras you can check out there too. Check out the description, there's more. I'm Brent Hall, thanks for watching.